Beware of the Crocodile, written by Martin Jenkins and illustrated by Satoshi Kitamura. It was read today by Kyrie and Lulu of the third grade class at Pematic Elementary School on February 9th, 2021. If there's one thing you should know about crocodiles, it's that they're scary. Or at least the big ones are. They've got an awful lot of teeth. And they're not at all picky about what they eat, as long as it's got a bit of meat on it. When it comes to hunting down their dinner, they're very determined and very cunning. They know all the places along the sides of the rivers and lakes where animals come down to drink. When it's time for a meal, a hungry crocodile will choose one of those places and hide there in the water, just under the surface, with only the top of its head sticking out. Sooner or later, something passing by, something with a bit of meat on it, will decide it's thirsty and needs a drink, and then... Then there will be a sudden lunge and a tremendous splash, and then, oh dear, what happens next is rather gruesome. In fact, it's so gruesome that we should skip the details. Let's just say there's a lot of twirling and thrashing, and then things go a bit quiet. Afterward, the crocodile won't need to feed again for a while. Instead, it spends its time cruising around, checking out the places where it might find its next meal, or snoozing on the sand bank. Crocodiles can go for weeks and weeks without eating. The bigger the crocodile's meal, the longer it can go before the next one. But there's more to crocodiles than splash, snap, twirl, swallow. You might be surprised to hear that they make very good parents, or mothers, we should say. We'll talk about the fathers later. When she's ready to lay some eggs, a mother crocodile gathers up a huge mound of fallen leaves. She scoops out a hollow in the top, lays her eggs there, and keeps covers them with leaves. As the leaves rot, they heat up, keeping the eggs nice and warm. The mother can adjust the heat by piling up more leaves or scraping some away. A crocodile usually lays 40 to 60 eggs at one time, but a big one can lay up to 90. Inside the eggs, the baby crocodiles are slowly growing. When they're nearly ready to hatch, they start chirping away like tiny birds. That's a signal for the mother to open up the nest. Then, very carefully, she picks up the newly hatched babies in her enormous jaw and drops them in the water nearby. It takes 80 to 90 days for the eggs to be ready to hatch. She still doesn't leave the babies on their own, though. She stands guard over them in the water for months. You see lots of things like to eat baby crocodiles. Birds, such as storks and herons, snakes, big fish, and worst of all, other crocodiles, sometimes even the baby's own fathers. Despite the mother's best efforts, a lot of the babies meet an unfortunate end. But the ones that survive grow and grow and grow until one day they're the ones lurking in the water by that place on the bank with only their eyes and nose sticking out. It normally takes about two years for a baby crocodile to grow to three feet, about one meter, and another eight years or so for it to reach six feet, about two meters. Waiting for something or even somebody to come down to drink.